Hey guys, this week's tactical tip is going to be about the sling. So we've had a lot of questions coming in about why or how I run the swing, uh, the sling the way I do, right? More so why, the thought process behind it. I know one point slings are really popular. For me personally, I prefer a two point sling on a full length rifle. Uh, I like to use a one point sling if I'm running a sub gun like uh, MP5K or something like that, a very short, um, pistol or sub gun, you know, the one of the air pistols or something like that. But for a full length gun, I like to run a two point sling and I'm going to go over a couple reasons why and how I like to set it up. I like to set up the sling so that way I'm hooked up to the top of the buttstock on the back. If you're using the, the, the quick mounts, I like to go on the outside, not the inside. So that when the sling hangs, it's pulling the gun into me, not having the gun tip out. Same thing up front. I like to put it on the side not on the bottom because I don't want the gun to roll. So I like to put it on the side. Now, me personally, I like to run with a pistol grip because if you follow our page, you know that I use a lot of high ready and I prefer the pistol grip to be able to use it in that high ready. So I like to position the pistol grip here just behind my sling mount. Now, when I go to utilize the high ready or sling the gun, this allows me to fish my hand in and out of the sling because my hand's already set right here at the base of the sling versus my hand being in front of it. Now I have to bring my hand back and forth, right? But also I don't need it so far out, right? That it's uh, way out here. This is perfectly uh, fine for controlling the rifle. So now how I do this with the uh, two point sling is I like to run it across the outside of my tricep. And if you see here, it doesn't put the pressure on my neck. One of the problems with having my arm like this, how if I were to sling the gun, a lot of guys run their arm completely through like this, which I'm if I'm only doing low ready techniques, this is fine. I can go here and do my low ready and there's slack in the sling. This becomes challenging when I go to do my high ready because now you can see the sling is getting very tight and it restricts my movement. So that's why I personally like to run my arm on the inside and going here. When I let the gun hang, again, the pressure is not on my neck. If I go to sling the gun like we were just showing you, my hand slim, uh, simply slides in and now I'm in this position. But when I transition to high ready, right, having my elbow on the inside, when I go here, my arms are holding the rifle. Yes, there's the, the weight, if I were to drop the gun, the weight is on my neck, right? But in the high ready, I'm not utilizing it like that. I'm here in this position, which allows me that full range of motion to push out and come in and seat the rifle without the sling jamming me in the back of the neck or the back of the head every time I push the rifle out. So I want my sling length to be long enough that I can clear my gear, seat the rifle, clear my gear, come back without it getting stuck. So very simply here, I can transition in and out. Also, if I want to come uh, out of my sling, from here, all I simply do is I loop my head, right? And it's out to come back in. Again, I don't have to take my hands off the rifle. I go here, I create the pocket, I loop in, and I'm right back, again, landing into the position where the rifle is on the outside of my tricep, which allows me right back into that high ready. If I wanna sling it, cool, we can sling it, not a problem. So again, that's just how I like to run it. I'm here, coming back in, right? I'm here, puts me right back into that position for the high ready, and I come in, right, here, across the back. If I wanna sling it, easy, so again, just how I like to do it. And then if I'm going to have it slung for a while, if you have an adjustable sling like this one, you can make it tighter so it's not flopping all over the place, right? I can turn the rifle and get it a little bit tighter if I need to, right? To have it sit snug. Um, but that's also gonna depend on the gear you're wearing and, and the length your rifle uh, sling is. So a couple tips on that for the people who are wondering why and how I run my sling. Quick tutorial, hope that helps. Uh, yeah, that's about it.